be honest guys, when's the last time you actually serviced your rear differential? The charger's coming up on 80,000 miles and I don't think I've ever actually done it. Yeah. So even though I'm gonna be servicing the differential on my Dodge Charger, the methods should be similar to any number of cars. Quick tip, when you're servicing your differential, make sure you remove the fill plug before the drain plug. And that's for a couple of reasons. First, the air coming in through the top will help drain the fluid out the bottom without it like glugging. But more importantly, the second reason, if you can't get that fill plug out, you don't wanna drain it. So on the charger, this is actually a very simple process and charger, challenger, 300, believe they all use the same differential. Um, you don't have to jack the car up for this. You can actually crawl under here with the car on the ground. I just happened to have been doing another video, so I had the car jacked up for that, which I'll link to up here somewhere. Um, so, like I said, I'm gonna pull the fill plug, and then I'm gonna pull the drain plug and get this thing emptied. All right, so on the chargers, I'm using an eight millimeter Allen head on my ratchet. Try to bust these free. There we go, so the top one is loose. Take the, the fill plug loose first. And then next will be the drain plug. No, but I not really bad. Should. That fluid doesn't look too bad actually. For 80, 000, for almost 80,000 miles, doesn't look bad at all. Now look at the, I don't know if these are magnetic or not. No, I guess these don't have any mag plugs in them. Would have been nice, but. Let that finish draining. And then I'll put the drain plug back in. All right guys, so I got the drain pan on my workbench under a light along with a shop light here. I wanna get a good look at this fluid. Like I said, I, I've got almost 80,000 miles on the car. I haven't serviced the differential since I've had the car since about 37,000 miles, something like that. Um, so I don't know if it's ever been done, probably not. So let's have a look. The, the fluid doesn't smell burnt or anything. You can see sparkly in there. There's definitely some, that looks really sparkly, but and there are no chunks or anything. It just looks, it's hard to tell with these lights too. It could just be the light playing with the fluid, but there's definitely some sparkles in there, but no uh, debris. So that's good. I'm gonna go ahead and refill the uh, differential. If you ever plan on doing a differential service yourself and saving yourself a few hundred bucks at the dealership, pick up one of these pumps, all right? Makes your life really simple. You just take your bottle, gear oil. I've already cut the seal open. The pump just goes into the bottle, just like that, screws on, now you can just pump your fluid into the top of your differential. No spill, no mess, no problem. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna just start filling the differential. I'm gonna fill it up until the fluid starts to come out the fill hole. Should be about one and a half quarts, I believe, something like that. We'll see. I'm just gonna start filling this thing up. There you go, guys. Two bottles of gear oil, about a half hour of your time, and you save yourself a couple hundred bucks and the hassle of going to the shop. Appreciate you for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.